fire. I don't even know how much fire equipment they've been able to move up onto those. Oh, upper floors. it's just coming down, Pat. It is just coming down. Watch the right it's side. Exploding. It's exploding. It's ripping apart. It is billowing. Pat, the debris is flying. I'm gonna run. Okay. Uh, oh my God! Yeah! Holy shit! Different view. Both buildings are aflame. All right. And then the building that was hit second comes tumbling down. That was the one where the airplane came in particularly quickly and hit the building at about 471. Like a sound I never heard before. I hope I never hear again. South Tower comes down. That's what drew him back for one last shot. That's when the tower began to collapse. I was looking in the viewfinder, and I just saw the, this reverse mushroom cloud billowing down, and I realized my proximity, and immediately just turned. It appearing to fall away from the rest of the building. Can we go to the tape now? Here we go, right here. This is, I mean, when you look at it, the building has collapsed. That tower just came down. Let's go to Bob Bazell, who was at St. Vincent's Hospital. It moved. It literally leaned a little bit. And then I... <laughs> It made this, I can't explain the sound, but it's like, it was an eerie sound. And we heard this boom, boom. Centro que se viviam os maiores dramas, as torrel de cartas. O pânico tomou conta das ruas de Nova York. The South Tower lasts only 56 minutes before it succumbs at 9:59 a.m. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! 
Holy shit, the whole tower just fell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Less than an hour later, the South Tower came crumbling down. It collapsed. The At collapse. We're showing the you. This is the press. collapse, ladies and gentlemen, on videotape. The collapse that just happened. Unbelievable. Let's go to Marsha Kramer now in the newsroom as she watches what you're seeing at home right now, Marsha. Well, the real concern right now for New York City emergency rescue squads is to get people... As this atrocity is so much bigger, so much more monstrous, the healing process is that much more difficult. Oh my god, no! No! Oh my god, no! Oh no! The building just collapsing. Uh, there you oh, see. There you see now whether that is whether that is the result of just uh, further weakening of the structure of the building or whether that's yet another terrorist attack. I don't know. I, I would I would imagine the former, that the uh, the building structure just uh, weakens to the point mm -hmm. where the wall uh, no longer it just disappeared into its own dust. immobilized as well as a result of these terrorists. And that's effects. a very haunting description that Bob Kerr just gave of that low flying aircraft near the White House and one can only wonder if that was something that ultimately Let's ended back. up in the Pentagon. Can we just saw a live picture of what's about the structural vulnerability but as you as you see debris just starts to, to peel fall away. then it cracks and then it just goes straight down. And now uh, they say that the, the other tower is leaning. Um, if you look at some of the pictures, it appears to be on a slight angle uh, to the right. His friend Tim told me that he saw a terror. One of the exchanges. There's actually, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We're not sure exactly what happened, but it was another explosion on the far side of one of the... Uh, it's not been a highly confrontational uh, situation, and it's not been geared toward people who had the intention of, uh, of flying a plane into a building. Oh my god, the building!
explosions uh, rocked the Pentagon as well. Apparently, a hijacked plane crashed into the Pentagon. And here you see uh, the Twin Towers earlier, and we're going to watch tragedy unfold as one of the towers collapses. And there you see it. And did it shit! Was oh, shit! No! Axel, get on camera. What happened? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh.